Carl Rowland with Sherline Products. Uh, this video, we're going to go over the uh, Control J jump to line option on the Masso controller. We have full size machines out in the shop that we make all the parts for our, our lathe and mill here. And on those, what we do is we'll have this is the actual program we're going to run. This is the profile program for our cup holder that we used in the G95 video. On, for each tool, we would have an end block, say tool number one would be N100, and then we'd have a generic line of code that would be G90, G00, X, Y, and Z to a position for tool number one. And if I want to start at a different tool in the program, say tool number three, I would do a search for N300, and it would move to N300 and start there. Um, and that's how we work the machines out in the shop those machines are not capable of starting just anywhere inside a program and this is something that Maso is capable of which is pretty pretty amazing uh, software wise so the, the way Maso does it is each line and each blank space on here they count the number of lines so it's be line number one two three four and so on and when you run the program okay, and we're going to run the program here in a second it's going to show you what line it's on at the time and it counts them up. There's a total of 37 lines in this, this particular program. So it's showing 37 because that's where it just ended. We're going to run it and then I'm just going to pick an arbitrary line to start on and show you how this works. So I'm going to go rewind and then we're going to go start. And you can see right here it's already showing line number five. One, two, three, four line number five. So what you can do in your program is actually keep track of what line you're on for different tools. So it's going to come down line number 21 and we're cutting this top edge right here okay so right now I'm gonna hit feed hold I'm gonna hit rewind I hit stop spindle I'm gonna to go to my jog page and I'm just gonna jog it up out of the way I'm going to go back to the program okay, and I already watched this program and line 24 is going to start right about here before the second radius. So at, at line number 4 will show you in the program, or line 24 I'm sorry, control E. Line 24 is right here where it says G1 x 1.4375 and that's all the line says okay it's not giving any z-axis information it's not giving any rpm information none of that that's all the line says and that's the line i'm going to start on so i'm going to go rewind and i'm going to go control j the jump and my resume program page comes up and right now it's showing line 21 because that's the line I stopped on when I stopped the program and jogged. And I'm going to tell it that I want to start on line number 24. So I'm just going to 24. I'm going to hit start from line. And it's going to show you all your X, Y, and Z information. For instance, it was at Z minus 75 thousandths when it finished that cut. So all this, all this information, this is where it's going to go to when I start running my program. All right, so right now it's going home in the Z. All right. Turning on the RPMs to what it was set to previously. Now it's moving over in the X. And I'm going to hit cycle start again. It's going to move in the Y. Okay, and it's going to the Y minus 1.4375 which you can see right here on the y-axis. And I'm going to click cycle start one more time. 
two times. It's going to come down in the Z to minus 75 thousandths. And it's taken off right where it stopped at. So this is the uh, jump to line feature. And this is another one of the features that Maso offers that other controls just don't offer. Not even my full size machines out in the shop. So there you go, another, another feature from Maso. I'm very impressed with this feature. Thank you.